I did the craziest thing. I went all the way to Newark, England, just to attend the National Shire Horse Show. It was so much fun. I've never seen more shires in one place at a time. One of my favorite things about the event wasn't the actual classes, even though I loved all of it. The best part for me was the warm-up arena. It's where the handlers get the horses ready, not just in appearance, but also mentally ready for showing. These are the four-year-old stallions and they could get wild. And a wild-eyed 2,000 pound shire is not something easy to manage. So they were full of tricks they used to get them in the right mindset. Though for the most part it meant just walking around and letting them look at all the people, get used to the relentless wind, and see the other stallions. <laughs> the handlers are all very good at what they do and they know their shires. What I love is you can get really close to all the horses and appreciate how beautiful they are. Muscles moving, eyes searching and kind, and all that hair. It was so awesome. I love the smell of horses, and it's something you either like or you don't. But for me, shires smell a little different than other horses. I love it. It's like being home. To be in their presence is almost overwhelming. It's so great to talk to the handlers as well and get to know them and listen to their stories, which are all unique with the exception that they love the Shire Horse breed. Most have dedicated their lives to propagating the breed and ensure this beautiful animal does not disappear. I'm so grateful for people like this because I'm sure my Shire Apollo could be traced back to one of the bloodlines these people have worked so hard to save. This amazing creature was the winner of the three-year-old stallion class in episode six. He'd already been out in the warm-up arena once before, competed, and now was being made to wait again because the Grand Parade was the event just after this. He was getting a little antsy-pantsy, like a first grader being told he needed to stay in and finish when the recess bell had already rung. Great horse. Please enjoy the shots I've captured of these majestic beasts. The next episode is going to be the Grand Parade, which was such a spectacle. At the end of the day, everyone who competed comes out to the main arena to display one last time and the big awards are given. With the sunset in the background and so many horses to look at, it was jaw-dropping, so stay tuned for that. Hope you're all having a great day and please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.